Hello one. Now I am going to discuss about magic tea. Magic tea it is also called as a EH plain tea or hybrid tea. So here it is called EH plain tea because if we combine E plain tea and H plain tea together to get the four ports. See here H arm that is port 3 E arm that is port 4. So we have how to get the magic tea. How to get the EH plane tea means cutting a rectangular slide, cutting a rectangular waveguide or main waveguide along both width and broader directions. If we cut along the width direction and attaching another waveguide which is acting as a H arm and cutting along the broader direction and adding another waveform will act as a E arm. Okay. Simply we are combining the H plane T and E plane T where in E plane and H plane individually they are having only three ports. Okay. But here we are having four ports. Magic T is obtained by cutting a rectangular waveguide along both width and breadth breadth and breadth of a waveguide and side arms are attached okay here port 1 and 2 are collinear ports and port 3 is H arm and port 4 is E arm ok so here the same procedure we have to follow to find out the scattering matrix for the magic tea so first so first scattering matrix S is a 4 by 4 matrix 4 by 4 matrix since there are 4 ports ok the scattering matrix can be written as 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 4 1 4 2 4 3 4 4 ok next second property is because of H plane T section because of plane of symmetry S13 is equals to S23 because of E plane T section S14 is equal to minus of S24 Next, because of geometry of the junction, an input port, an input at port 3 cannot come out of port 4 since they are isolated ports and vice versa. Here port 1 and port 2, these two are collinear ports. But port 3 and port 4 are isolated ports. Port 1 and 2 are collinear ports. So S, S34 is equal to S43 is equal to 0.
नेक्स्ट सिमेट्रिक प्रॉपर्टी एस आई जे इज इक्वल टू एस जे आई वन टू इज इक्वल टू टू वन वन थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री वन टू थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू थ्री फोर इज इक्वल टू फोर थ्री एस टू फोर इज इक्वल टू एस फोर टू एस फोर वन इज इक्वल टू वन फोर नेक्स्ट फोर थ्री एंड फोर आर परफेक्टली मैचड सो थ्री थ्री इज इक्वल टू फोर फोर इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ सब्सटिट्यूटिंग ऑल दीज इन द स्कैटरिंग मैट्रिक्स एंड हाउ द स्कैटरिंग मैट्रिक्स इज चेंज सो वॉट इज एक्चुअली द स्कैटरिंग मैट्रिक्स इज दिस वन right so s11 this is s12 13 14 21 is equal to 12 this is s22 s23 is equal to s13 this is s14 minus next 13 so this is a scatter matrix Changed after substituting all the properties, after considering all the properties of scattering matrix. Next, from unitary property, that is S into S star is equals to I. So this is S. One one, one two, one three. वन फोर वन टू 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 वन थ्री वन फोर वन थ्री वन थ्री जीरो दिस इज माइनस जीरो एस वन फोर माइनस एस वन फोर जीरो जीरो एस स्टार we have to add all stars is equal to 1000 s into s star is equal to i now r1 c1 s11 whole square S one two whole square, S one three whole square, S one four whole square one. R two C two. S one two whole square, S two two whole square, S one three whole square, S one four whole square. Next R three C three. S one three whole square. S one three whole square equal to one. Next R four C four. S one four whole square. S one four whole square equal to one. So from here, by comparing or from equations these two S one three, this from these two consider this as equation one two three four. S one three is equal to one by root two. S one four is equal to one by root two from equation three and four. Next, compare equation one and two. Compare equation one and two. One two one three one four one. So S one one is equal to S two two. This is a re resolution. Next, here. So from equation one, 
S11 whole square. What is S12 whole square? This is same S12 whole square. S13 is equal to 1 by 2. S14 is equal to 1 by 2 equal to 1. So S11 whole square plus S12 whole square equal to 0. So here S11 whole square plus S12 whole square equal to 0. Next to do R4C1. S14 into S11 star minus S14 into S12 star equal to 0. So taking S14 common, S11 star, S12 star equal to 0. So since S14 should not be equal to 0 because already we got S14 as 1 by root 2. So this term should be equal to 0. So from this we will get S11 is equal to S12. S11 is equal to S12 means these two are equal. If I substitute here S11 as S12, what I will get? 2 times of S12 whole square equal to 0 or S12 equal to 0. So S12 is 0, S11 is 0. If S11 is 0, S22 is also 0. So the simple or the final conclusion 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, S12 and S22 all are equal to 0. So, here port 1 and port 2 are perfectly matched to the junction. That's why S11 is equal to S22 equal to 0. Hence, in any 4 port junction, if any 2 ports are perfectly matched to the junction, then the remaining 2 ports are automatically matched to the junction. Okay. So here if S11 and S22 are equal to 0 means these two are means port 1 and port 2 is uh, perfectly matched to the junction. If any two ports are perfectly matched then other uh, remaining two ports are will automatically match to the junction. Such a junction where in all the four ports are perfectly matched to the junction is called magic T. Okay. So here writing I am. This means port 1 and port 2 are perfectly matched to the junction. Hence in any 4 port junction if any two ports are perfectly matched to the junction, then the remaining two ports are automatically match to the junction search here junction is called magic t ok now after substituting all the values the scattering matrix of magic t is so now i am writing in terms of b is equal to s into a form because it is having four ports we have to consider up to four
ए वन ए टू ए थ्री ए फोर ना रईटिंग बी वन इन टर्म्स आफ ए वन सो ई वि गेट बी वन इज ईक्वल टू वन बै रूट टू टाइम्स आफ ए थ्री ए फोर बी टू इज ईक्वल टू वन बै रूट टू टाइम्स आफ ए थ्री मैनस ए फोर B3 is equal to 1 by root 2 times of A1 plus A2 and B4 is equal to 1 by root 2 times of A1 minus A2. Okay. Now we will see the cases. Case 1. A3 not equal to 0. A1 is equal to A2 is equal to A4 equal to 0. By substituting all these values I will get B1 is equal to B2 and B3 is equal to B4. That is, I am not giving any input at the port 3. I am, I am, I am giving some input at port 3. I am applying some input at port 3 and no input at port 1, 2, 4. Then, if I am applying input at port 3 means it is nothing but H arm. If if we apply the input at the H arm, what happened in the H plane T? The input is equally divided between the port 1 and the port 2. The same thing happening here. Similarly, go to case 2. What is case 2? A4 is not equal to 0. That is, I am applying the input at a E plane T. And what will happen? I got B1, B2, same, but different sign, that is plus or minus. That is, if we apply the input at the port 4, that is E plane T, the output will be coming out from port 1 and port 2 with the equal powers, but the different signs. That is, there is 180 degrees phase shift between port 1 power and port 2 power. And what is? This is a property of E plane T. Next, case 3. A1 not equal to 0. That is, I am applying the input at port 1. Then, I won't get the output from port 1 and 2. And I will get the output from port 3 and port 4 as a1 by root 2. Okay. What it means? If I apply the input at port 1, the output will be divided between H arm and E arm with equal powers, with the equal signs. Okay. So, it means when power is fed into the port 1, nothing comes out of port 2. Even though they are collinear. I already told you port 1 and port 2 are collinear. Port 3 and port 4 are isolated. Hence, this is the magic in magic T. Okay, as port 1 and port 2 are collinear ports, if I am applying the input at the port 1, I am not getting any output from the port 2. Hence, port 1 and port 2 are called as isolated ports similarly an input at port 2 cannot come out of port 1 similarly e and h ports are also isolated ports okay next case 4 a3 is equal to a4 a1 is equal to a2 is equal to 0 if i am applying the equal inputs Okay, then output is like this. This is nothing but additive property. Equal inputs at port 3 and port 4 result in an output at port 1 in phase and equal in magnitude. These two are added together. Similarly, case 5. A1 is equal to A2, 
a3 is equal to a4 equal to 0. Then b1 is equal to b2 is equal to b4 is equal to 0. But b3 is equal to 1 by root 2 times of 2 into a1. This is also additive property. Okay. So this is about the magic tree. Thank you.